Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is a good day to sell silage for the year. And in the last video on my channel, when I mowed the grass, I leased the biggest mower in the game. And the leasing cost was just under $20,000, plus how much it cost for me to mow all the grass, which took less than an hour, which wasn't bad. So the total was around $20,000 in costs to call up cut all of the grass to turn into silage. Here in this pit, I have 334,000 liters of fermented silage ready to go. So I'm going to open it up. That's about as good as it's gonna get so far. The rest of that will come off as I collect. See if it'll tell me how many liters total I have. Yeah, 334,761 liters of fermented silage total. That's about 80 bales, which is nice. Now what I want to do is I want to see, since this is a good day to sell silage, I want to see how much I get for filling this trailer up. If it's a lot, if it's a lot, I'm gonna sell everything up to the point where I get my 20,000 back save the rest for cows. Let's see if this is a good way to do it. Hold on a second. I gotta get to the tool where I have to scroll. I hit the triangle button until I get to the point where it says where I can lower it. It's not letting me lower it. That's strange. Well, let me detach this. We'll start again. There, see now it came back. I don't know why it why it did that. No worries. Sometimes that happens. We'll fill this up to where it's at the full capacity and take it to the shop. I'm well, not the shop. Take it to the sell point, which on no man's land, there's only one in the whole game so far that come, you know, I haven't created any of my own sell points yet. I'm just going what with what it says for silage today. Apparently $83 per, I don't know, Per 4,000? No, that can't be. I really don't know what numbers 83 is for how many thousands of liters it is, but we'll find out. If there's 4,000 liters in a bale, and this trailer holds around 18,600 liters, that's about four and a half little over four and a half bales if I can get a thousand dollars per bale that's good so if I can get around four thousand dollars for this entire trailer load then I know I'm doing good so we'll use that as a starting point once again if I get about four thousand dollars for this full fully loaded trailer then I know I'm sitting good that I should, should sell a total of five to make up for the leasing of that mower in the first place. If it's not at least 4,000, I'm just gonna forget about it and save it all for cows because I'll, it'll be more of a profit saving it for cows before it's all used up and I barely, barely even made a profit to begin with. And then, of course, I still owe money to the bank, so the, the loan payments. I should have been making loan payments instead of been saving money. So, you know, it, it, there's a lot of factors that come into play. Silage is a lot of work. So you just don't want to just sell it all willy-nilly and, and then it's all gone. And your total profits plus leasing costs is like $10,000. You're might want to reconsider your business model. This is just 
the test to see if it's going to be worth to sell 100,000 liters or not to make up the money difference back, but it's got to be worth it. But like I said, I have 334,000 liters. That's a lot. That took a lot of work, and that's not from any fields of grass. That's just straight up grass that's on the ground, the basic grass type. Make a lot of grass though and make a lot of silage. Turn my actual fields and plant grass there. Now you're talking profits. Now you're talking huge amounts of silage. Up until a half a million liters, you know. I believe this is the sell point. You know, I do not know. I've never sold silage on no man's land yet. There it is. Okay, I'm making money. You can see my, the dollar sign up there on the right hand corner. And then when it's done, it'll tell me the total. It'll be in green in the same spot there in the right-hand corner. Let's get a close-up of that. It's not a very fast tipping trailer, but it is, it's a nice trailer for what I'm starting out with on Start From Scratch. One thousand five hundred and forty seven dollars on a day where silage is the highest one of the highest points of the year so the conclusion then is to not sell anymore save it for cows because the profits are just not worth it right now I'd have to make a lot more of it or wait until if there's ever a great demand for silage to where it's like double that price I'm sure it would be like that you know in the winter time when cows require more silage I'll bet you I could get three or four times that amount but I'm just testing things out as I go to see what happens That still leaves me with over 300,000 liters. Way over 300,000 liters of silage, to, which I can definitely put to use for lots and lots of cows. That's a lot of silage to start out with. I know there's millions and millions of liters required for people with big cattle farms, but I haven't even bought the cows yet. Making some progress on no man's land. All right, then. I think that's going to conclude this video. I think I want to first put turn this back into a trailer for chicken feed. I like to keep it at about that many liters for the chickens. And this will also be wheat for the pigs, for whatever future pigs I have in the future. So I'll put wheat, wheat back in here. Take it over to where I got my chickens. And I have a hanger set up so that the wheat does not get waterlogged. As you can see how much wheat I had there. That's enough for, for chickens for at least a, a year or two. But n nothing for pigs yet. But I am growing some wheat. Trust me. There will be pigs coming soon, which I'm going to use their slurry. It's pretty much free fertilizer. And they make a lot of it. They make a lot of it. So I'll take this back to where I had it. No, now, by the way, if anybody's wondering, it's okay that it's raining in seasons. I've tested it. The 316,000 liters that you see there is not going to decay in the rain. So don't worry if anybody's wondering. And there's no way to put a cover back on it. If I could, I would. But the game doesn't give you that option. But... B be safe to know that your silage is not going to decay in the rain. So, 
if anybody was curious. I know it took me a while to test it out. I was wondering. I had to keep an eye on it. And then I discovered, wow, cool, cool. It doesn't, you know, decay in the rain. Like, you know, it might in real life, but for the purpose, 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 purposes of this game, it doesn't do that, which is good. You got to have some limits, right? In order to have at least some sort of amount of fun, there's give and take. I wonder if the chickens even need any food. I probably already fed them. Oh, they could use a little bit, I guess. Top them off. And then I'm going to park. Park this in here. For now. And then put the chicken feed underneath the hanger. From, so it doesn't get wet. So that's what I'll do. And then I'm just going to... I have nothing really to do left today. That's why I like nine days per season. Some days you can just relax and take it all in. That's what they call smell, smelling the roses. Let's take a bird's eye view tour of my farm. How about before I end this video? Just give everybody a look around. Anybody else who has no man's land. Let's go let's go drive over to the start point. Just so everybody can have a little nostalgia of what it looked like before they transformed their maps. Because on no man's land, the start point, I believe, for certain difficulties of the game is over here. And if anybody who plays No Man's Land can appreciate this right now. This is what it looked like before. By the way, those logs, even though I don't own the land, I can sell those. I found out. That's cool. This is, I, I think there's a house that goes here. Or is it a garage? 